Go back to verse 1, the very start of the, of the psalm. He says this, Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Can I get an amen? Who does not want to be freed from their troubles? Come on, somebody, wherever you are, just say, yeah, hey, that's me right there. I would love to be freed from my troubles. Have mercy on me and say this with me. Hear my prayer. Like when David was overwhelmed by fear and stress and worry, his first instinct was to pray. So write this down. I can press on in peace when I press through in prayer. I can press on in peace when I press through in prayer. What's crazy is we panic about the dumbest things sometimes, don't we? Like, have you ever lost your phone? Like, why do we panic over that? We're just like, oh, I can't find my phone. I, 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 life is over as I know it. I can't exist. I can't move. I can't drive my vehicle. I can't w move forward. I don't know what. And you make everybody else around you miserable because you can't find your phone. This happened to me the other day. I couldn't find my phone. I was, I was watching a video, and, and this speaker said something really powerful. And I was like, i got to write that down. And I put everything in my phone because it's not just a phone, you know. And so I've got, where's my phone? I've got to write this down. Where is my phone? I don't want to forget this. And I looked down. I'm watching the video on my phone. <laughs> so sometimes we panic over the dumbest things, but sometimes it's very real. Maybe it's a relational issue that you're facing in your marriage or in your family right now, or, or there's something at work that has you overwhelmed, or it's a health crisis or a financial crisis, or something that's happening on your campus with, with your uh, degree that you're working towards or towards the classes that you're in, and you're just completely overwhelmed by what's happening around you. Laura has this thing she does whenever I'm overwhelmed. She can see it in me, and she'll just do this. She puts out her hands, and when she does that, I'm like, I know what she's doing. She wants to pray, and I'm like, uh-uh. No, uh-uh. No, no, no. Because I don't know why, but I just want to hang on to it. I don't know why, but I'm like, no, I, 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 I have the right to just feel this way. And, I, and so, because I know, I know when I reach down and I grab a hold of her hand, it's over. Because she's going to pray. And every single time that she prays, the peace of God overwhelms me. But I, I want to hold on. You want to hold on. I think the reason we want to hold on is for some crazy reason, we think the more I think about it, the more I stew on this, I somehow, some way, I'm going to find the answer. But can I tell you that you are looking down the wrong road? Like Laura and I, we live on Raleigh Place. Two blocks over is Raleigh Court. And whenever packages are delivered or people come to see us, sometimes they end up on Raleigh Court. And I can tell you, if you're on Raleigh Court, you can look as hard as you want, but you are never going to find our place. And the same thing is happening in our world right now. People are looking for peace in the wrong place. They are searching down the wrong road, and they're never going to find it.